he who kills with the sword must also be killed with the sword. He who kills with the sword must also be killed with the sword. Shalom, Akims. This is your Hebrews like brother, Meshava, here in the city of Detroit. I'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth, peace, and salutation to the hopeful elects. Shalom, Akims. Welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is on he who killeth with the sword must also be killed with the sword. This applies to, to Esau, the so-called white man, that red devil that the scriptures speak about. Remember, he took us into captivity. Therefore, he too it shall be taken into captivity. Let's go ahead and start it off. He that leadeth in the captivity. Now we will start off with verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear these words. These words of truth. Okay? These prophecies. He that leadeth in the captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You see? Now we're going to scroll back down here. We're going to tap on to it. And go into the cross reference and get the precepts. Now, let's go for the precepts. Here we got a line of precepts. Let's see. Let's see. Now, let's just go on a few of them. We're going to do a few of them, starting with this one. Ex Exodus chapter 21, verse 23. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. You see? Life for life. For the lives that that, that red devil took, that he got to give his life for. It. Verse 24. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for a hand, foot for foot. You see? Because that's what he did. He did to us. Verse 25. Burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. This is what must be done unto that red devil that done the same thing to us. You know, remember, remember he put us into slavery. Therefore, he too must go into slavery. And this is what, you know, that red devil can look forward to. At the end of all this, once Yahweh comes and sets up his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. This Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. And the people shall take them, that's us Israelites, shall take them and bring them to their place. You see, we're going to take those, those, those uh, 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 Edomites and heathens and the house of Israel the house of Israel let's see did it just jump Salakia let's see start back up here and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants for servants and handmaids, you see, and we will. We're going to take them as handmaids and servants. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And we were their captives. But the time is coming. You see, they took us into slavery. They never gave us reparation. And reparation wouldn't be enough anyway. Because for what that red devil did to us, he had to hand himself over. The so-called white man had to hand himself over to us. To be our slaves. You see. And they shall rule. Over their oppressors. 
And that time is coming when we shall rule over our oppressors. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 1. Woe to thee that spoileth, and thou wast not spoiled. You see, the so-called white man, he has not been judged for the wrong that he's been doing in the earth. And dealest treacherously, and thou dealt not treacherously with thee. And everybody has not been dealing treacherously with the, with the so-called white, white man. He'll make a, a, a deal, a contract, and then break it. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when and when the, that red devil, the so-called white man, just when he thinks he has us all ready for the chipping station, that's when your house shot is going to show up to remove the power of that red devil, so-called white man. You see? Esau is Edom. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, thou they shall deal treacherously with thee. And that's what is going to happen. That's the way it's going to turn out. All the nations are going to turn against America and attack America, right along with Russia. You see, it says so. Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. Well, this is the Lord speaking. For with for with what judgment is ye, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. You see, the time is coming. It's time for that red devil to pay for what he has done. He that killeth. Let's read some uh, some precepts on he that killeth. Okay? This Genesis chapter 9, verse 5. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. And he will. At the time of the judgment. At the hand of every beast will I require it. You see? And that's that red devil, the so-called white man, is the beast of the field. And at the hand of man. At the hand, at, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man? You see, and he saw as our brother. You see, and he has been the type of brother that hey, that's a murderous brother. This verse six: Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, because in order for this land, America. For in order for the land to be cleansed, it must be cleansed of the blood that was shed. And the only way for that to be done is for he who has shed the blood of the land, that his blood be shed. You see? So who shed our blood upon this land? The so-called white man. That's what he done to us. Therefore, his blood shall be shed across this land in order to cleanse it. You see? For in... The, in the image of Yahweh made he man. You see? Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. You see? For their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Because it's time to reveal all this wickedness that's been done upon the earth. We are the men who cry aside for the abominations of this world. It's Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Matthew chapter 26, verse 52. Then said Yahweh shall unto him, Put up again thy sword into its place. For all they that take the sword shall punish, shall perish with the sword. And this is what Yahweh told Peter when he smote the ear of Malchus, the high priest's uh, servant, eunuch. Revelation chapter 16, verse 6. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets. You see? This, and this is pursuant to Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Some of us will be taken into uh, the female camps. And we'll be tortured, you know, and possibly beheaded, you see, being mortars for Yahweh's sake, you see. 
let's take this time to I'm gonna take this time to also remind y'all to press the like button. Press the like button, okay? By pressing that like button, that, that helps out for the algorithms of this YouTube channel, okay? And also press the subscription button, okay? Press the subscription button. If you haven't already pressed the subscription button, do so. Press the subscription button and the notification bell. So that way you will receive special notification alerts each time I release a video for your spiritual edification. Thank you, Tawada. Now let's get back into this. And thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy, you see, because they've shed their blood. Therefore, they shall drink. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation, you see, of the Lord. You see, just waiting on the Lord. That's the thing for us to do now. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appoint, appointed time to come, but at the end it shall speak. You see, this word, this truth, the prophecy shall be unfold, or unfold revealed. You see, it shall be spoken and speak truly and not lie. And not lie, because it's the truth. Though it tarry, wait for it. You see? Wait for it. You see? For it's the Lord. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You see? Luke chapter 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them. This end, the man of ought always to pray and and not to faint. You see? And not to faint. The patient here's the patient of the saints. Luke chapter 18 verse 2 saying there there was in a city judge a judge which feared not Yahweh neither regarded man because the judges of the day they say it's okay and have made it a, a, a homosexuality, a legal right. They've made it a legal right. The judges of the land, they don't fear Yahweh. If they feared Yahweh, uh, they would not make homosexuality something that's a legal, moral, human right. You see? So that 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 uh, that uh, that, that uh, 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 MLB. What is? I think that's what that's about. No, BLM, Black Lives Matter. That's what that, that all that mess is about. You see, Luke chapter eighteen verse three, and there was a widow in the city, and she came unto me, saying, "Avenge me of mine adversary." You see, because that was must must be done. That was done to her. So must be done it to whom done it to her. Said with himself, Thou I fear not God, nor regard man. So you know that person is a fool. Salakia. Turn here, move this here. Okay. And uh now this is Luke chapter eighteen, verse five. Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, least by her continual coming she worry me. <laughs> this is con this is concerning uh the avenging of a death. Luke 18 and, and 6. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Hear what the unjust judge said. Saith. Luke 18 and 7. And shall not God avenge 
his own elect. You see? Yes, the Lord is going to avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. You see? And so up in the heavens, the uh, uh, the saints that's been, you know, that's on pass on. They up there day and night crying out to the Father. When? When will ye avenge our death? You see? When will you avenge us? Our blood been shed. When will you shed the blood of him that shed our blood? You see? Verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, you see, when he cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yes, he will find it amongst his brothers. Luke chapter 21, verse 19. In your patience, possess ye your souls. In your patience. And that's what we got to do. Maintain being patient, waiting on Yahweh Shai. Colossians chapter 1, verse 11. Strengthen with an might, strengthen with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience, you see, and long suffering with joyfulness, you see. So we're getting ready to close this video out. You see, we're going to read a couple more of these, you see, and, uh, here is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith inherit the promise. You see? Inherit the promise. You see? And this app is acting up. This here is the Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. For ye, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. You see? So we're going to go ahead and... And... Close the video out. We're going to read this one more. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. So, Lord's willing, you were edified by the day's lesson. Salakia, for the interruptions of the stalling of the, the app, the blue letter app, it was kept stalling out every now and then each time I try to move it up or down. So, so like you for that. But thank you ever so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you will uh, uh, spiritually edify and provoke to thought. And uh, remember to press your like button and press the subscription button. And we'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushab by Hashem Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom to the hopeful elects.